welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I am Tony Green. So, as usual today, I'm going to take callers and I'm going to be communicating with everybody on YouTube. I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes, sometimes 60 minutes. If it goes to 60 minutes and you're watching on a 30 minute venue, you can come to YouTube and watch the rest of the show or just wait for part two on Brood Rangers, WSCS or whatever venue you're watching or listening on. <clears throat> I also want to let you know that if you are watching on YouTube, <laughs> Or um, or any venue, any live streaming like Roku or uh, Rude Rangers or WSCS, um, hit that subscribe or follow or to find out when new shows come out. If you're listening on a podcast, please, again, if you hit that subscribe or follow, you'll know right away when a, no, a new show is going to come out. Okay, I think that's everything I'm supposed to say. If you are watching on YouTube Live with me, give me a hello in the chat. I'd love to say hi back to you. Right now we have Heather, Vaughn, Mimi, Sal. Hey, Sal. Sal is psychic guy, Sal. Psychic guy. Maybe it's just psychic guy. Um, major something? Major magic okay so my eyes are really bad so i'm really sorry if i can't read your name once we get going i have to lean way close in to read it so i'm gonna just go major events hey major events how are you okay <clears throat> in a moment i'm going to take callers when i call your area code please let me know where you're calling from and your name your first just your first name and then um have an exact question available and or an exact connection from the other side. Now, if you want me to connect with somebody from the other side, that's fine. I'm happy to do it. If you have a specific question for them or something you want to know, please state that right away. Um, it is one specific question per person one specific connection per person just because you know i try to get through everybody in the 30 to 60 minutes without rushing people and i can't and some people try to call in for months before they even can get through now my my loyal listeners know if they call 15 minutes ahead of time they'll get in at the top of the line <laughs> So if you call in a little earlier, you'll probably get in um, on top of the line instead of near um, the middle or bottom. Now, having said all of that, I want to say hi to my little brother, Stevie. Stevie, hi. I hope you're having a great day. He cracks me up, you guys. He is so funny. Every time he sees one of my shows... <laughs> He is all about calling me and telling me that, oh, he just saw me on the show and like what what I talked about. It's so adorable. He's such a sweet pea. Um, okay, everybody ready for callers? If you're listening or watching, you can call in. Um, the number is 845-277-9131. And uh, here we go. I'm going to go to the the very first caller, 814. 814, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, uh, this is Amy. And I am calling to see, I had an interview last week. And I wanted to see how you felt that it went. Um, the, the, the first thing I hear is good. I feel that the interview went good. I think you, um, that, and I keep here down to two, down to two, down to two. I don't know if they're going to do a follow-up questions or a follow-up interview, but I feel like it's down to you and another person. Um, 
I do feel like they are going to make their, I do feel like, okay, whatever this is, um, I'm hearing Friday, Friday, Friday. So maybe you're going to hear by Friday or you're going to know by Friday what direction they're going to go in. I would love to be able to tell you this is your, your jam. You're getting it. It's your gig, but they haven't decided yet. It's, it's, it's still down to, I think they're going to, I want to say they're going to, I hear they're going to know by Wednesday and everybody will know by, by Friday. But I, I, I want to make sure of that. I do feel like they might have one follow-up thing for you one follow-up question for you one follow-up I don't know what the follow-up is but there's going to be a follow-up of something and I feel like maybe that's what you hear on Wednesday I, I'm not sure but I do feel like you you're one of the final people that they're deciding between who I hope that's helpful love look but let me do this let me do this for you Everybody listening, everybody re-listening, watching, re-watching, we're going to do a clearing that the perfect position, the perfect job, the perfect work is coming for you now. And I get to know that it's not. So we're going to, we're going to say, we're going to clear this to a yes. I want to tell you, and it's really important that you know this, if you do not get I feel like you're going to hear about something else, another position before the end of the week. I feel like you maybe it's you that's going to have it down between two. Maybe you're the one that's going to have the choice of two. But whatever it is, I, I feel like there's going to be a choice between two. Now, I do feel like you are going to hear about something else between now and the end of the week and it's going the the next thing you hear about if you haven't already heard about it it's going to be very favorable to you you're going to be very excited about it okay love okay thank you so much for calling in and i look forward to hearing thank you so much you are so so welcome okay um hi lolly hey jessica hey, jessica <laughs> oh my gosh jessica i love you girl um i'm so happy you're here with us today so jessica is um is uh, how do i even describe you sweetie she's she's just a really amazing sweet person and a good a good person to have on your team. I, I don't even know how to describe her. She's awesome. I'm so happy you're here today. Um, and then the next one is Breezy Boy. Breezy Ray? Breezy. Breezy. I'm just going to call you Breezy. What up, Breezy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to go to my next caller, who is 314. 314, how are you today? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Martha. I'm calling from Missouri. Hi, how can I help you, love? Um, I was just saying if you could connect me with um, whoever comes through. Okay. It's, okay, it's always better if I have somebody specific because when I say whoever comes through, we might get somebody you don't even know. But I, I am seeing an older, thinner male okay now i'm going to tell you because you're not asking for a specific person this could be a great grandfather grandfather or a great great he this person i'm i'm thinking it's a male i haven't seen their face yet and they're they're older and they're thin and they're wearing a hat and the hat is it has a brim around a brim around it and it's it looks like it's straw, but it's it's not straw. Okay, um, whomever this is, they're very um, slow moving. So you may or may not be familiar with who this is, but I'm going to give you their message for you today. Is to um, 
Oh, okay. Well, their message for you today, sweetie, is to, and I, I don't, I, I know when I give a message, I know it's really needed and it's not always the message everybody wants, like the person receiving it wants to hear, but their message for you is let go and let God. There's something you've been holding on to that you have not wanted to, um, like surrender to, um, there's something that you've been trying to manage or fi fix, maybe fix is the right word they're saying. Um, and you have been trying to, like, I want to say make this work, but it's, it's not going the direction that you want it to. And then I hear the word exhausting. So whatever this is, it's just exhausting you. It's really exhausting you. It's taking, it's taking a lot of your energy and they're asking you to, sur to surrender that. And just like, if you, like they're showing me, if you just lifted your hands and you let go and you just let it go in whatever direction it was going to go in, you'd end up where you're going to be. Now, I'm going to say, like, I don't know specifically exactly what the situation for you is. I do know this could be relationship, this could be work, this could be something with a child. I don't, I don't know what specifically they're talking about. And I'm going to tell you, you have at least 10 ancestors here I don't see them all, so please don't ask me who they are. But there's, they're telling me there's, there's at least ten of them here, and they are all they're working together to give you this message, because they want you to. Um, okay, the other message they want to give you is on the other side of sadness, on the other side of struggle, is happiness and joy and um peace so if it, i i don't know if if this message makes sense for you right now and i i really really hope it does i really do, do. i i really hope this makes sense for you but they're saying when we let go it doesn't mean it's over it means it gives the other person a chance or the other people a chance to steer the boat for a while or to to like row the boat for a while, to grab the oars and row it for a while. Um, and again, whether this is a work situation, a, a, a family situation, a, a, a relationship situation, I'm going to tell you they're letting you know if you surrender a little bit, you won't lose it. Maybe you'll get a better version. Does that make sense to you? Good. Yay. Whoo. Whew. I am so, oh, sometimes I'm just going to confess a little confession here, folks. Sometimes when I'm giving a message, I, I'm sweating more than you. I'm like, gosh, I hope this makes sense. Gosh, I hope this is for the right person. Gosh. <laughs> I'm just letting you talk. Okay. Woo. Woo. -woo. Okay. <laughs> Thank oh, you. You are so welcome, beautiful. Thank you. And I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 520. 520. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi. What's What's your name? Where are you calling from? an adult, sure, he is an adult, I agree, and he's going to do what he wants. 
and I agree to that too. And I'm very upset. Do you see any trouble brewing? Uh, is he safe with those people, with those relatives? This is my question. Okay, so, um, of course, yeah, yes, I do. I do hear that um, I feel like if he is going to visit them and has to stay physically with them, it won't be for as long as he thinks it's going to be. I think he's going to get there and he's going to, um, like, I'm hearing the statement and I'm sorry. And I, I obviously don't know anything about this situation, but I'm hearing the statement, house of horror, <laughs> house of horrors, not horrors, house of horrors. I don't know. Maybe it is the first one. I don't know. I'm just saying <laughs> Yeah, and he's already been to visit some of them, but there's some other that live in another city, and I was talking to my brother last night. He's the only one I talked to. And I reminded my brother, I said, I didn't even want to talk to you again. <laughs> and I said, this is happening? I said, you know, uh, so there's another house of relatives that we're all connected to, and what my concern is he'll be back in touch with those, or they'll want to see him, and it's never okay. led to anything good. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes we have to get like snapped at by the snake in order to remember it's a snake. Okay, so if he is feeling the need to understand or know for himself, God bless him. Let him go. Let him learn. Let him do it. Um, the experience, He's either going to walk away knowing you're right and that's a win-win or he's going to have his own different experience which might be healthier every uh, hopefully everybody changes and grows and heals that's not always the case i don't feel like it's the case here i feel like you will be vindicated i feel like the experience will not be um as healthy as it could be. However, <clears throat> sometimes we have to walk into the lion's den to remember lions are, you know, not a den that we want to be in. Um, no matter what you say or do, he's going to do what he wants to do. So all you can do is say, well, you know what, I'm here if you need to talk and don't push against it. Because there's a point where everybody goes through a certain amount of rebellion and they want they just want to know their family. They just want to 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 for they're, they're using the statement, see how the other half lives. It's not that he thinks you're wrong. It's that he just wants to know, understand or experience that side better or or for himself and that's all you can at this point that's all you can let him do because if you try again if you try to push against it it's it's gonna work against you and then if they come off shining well, you, I, you're gonna I look like the wrong him. person i told him last no i told him last night i'm letting him go i said i'm detaching from you i can't do this anymore because it's been an uphill battle. I mean, I'm not even talking about all the stuff I've been through with him. There have been severe, severe consequences when, you know, part of that was the family. Right. So do you think he and I will mend things together? I actually... Between he and I? Yeah. You know what? I actually do feel like the two of you will mend things. I do feel like, again, I feel like once he gets there, it's not going to be the experience he thinks it's going to be. I feel like there's going to be some turmoil, but I do feel like, and I know this is really difficult. I do feel like he has to experience this or re-experience it on his own just to at least confirm in his mind that what he remembers is correct or incorrect. Um, I think it's safe to say that every single family has people who might be less functional or ourselves or we feel like um, we want to... Um, we feel like we we want to reach out for nostalgia and then and then we can 
be back in that space where, okay, yeah, my memories were correct. This wasn't healthy. Um, never go against the grain with whomever it is, because they'll have their experience and they'll be back. Very rare is it the person that changes and and gives somebody a healthy experience when in the past they gave them an unhealthy experience. What tends to happen is when we see family members or friends, we fall back into that same old pattern. So let him have his experience. When he comes back, you can discuss it. Um, remember, he is an adult. It's all you can do. And try to be um, understanding and patient of it. And um, we are all flawed. That, you know, we're all victors. We're all villains. We're all healthy. We're all unhealthy. We all make mistakes. And we've all hurt people. And we don't even realize that we've hurt people. They may never confront us on that. So none of us are perfect. I mean, I, I, I'm a Gemini for the love of sweet baby Jesus. Um, there are things I've said that people have taken in a way that that I would have never meant it that way, but it comes out of my mouth that way. I mean, you've heard my show. You know how I talk. I just kind of say things. Plus, being a channel, things come flying out of my mouth I can't control half the time. So, I mean, I've said things. I've done things. We've all been there, done that, had those unhealthy experiences. And if my family still judged me at the things I did when I was 20... <laughs> By the way, my life was so much more fun when I was 20, but whose life wasn't, <laughs> you know, hey, we grow. Hopefully we all grow and we get to the next stage and we're able to move forward in a healthier way. Um, I'm going to go to 610. If you are watching on YouTube, please check in. Say hello. Hey, Patrick. Hi. How are you, Patrick? It's wonderful to uh, see you here today. Okay. And Jana, Jana, how are you? Oh, Jana, I have something I need to send you. If it's okay, give me a yes. It's um, going to be over the, uh, I'm going to send you a text. So if you are interested, let me know. Okay, 610, back to you. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hi, thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. How can I help you today? What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Tometa. I'm calling from Philadelphia, PA. Okay. How can I help you? My question is, my question is um, a relationship question. Um, I'm in a pretty serious, deep relationship with another female. Her name is Christine. She is older. We did have an argument, a falling out a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, we, you know, I have a diamond ring and jewelry and everything from her. This is a pretty solid relationship, but she's kind of, you know, being quiet over there. So when do you see her coming forward, coming out of her shell and wanting to reconcile and talk about things here? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to answer your question. I'm I'm hearing tomorrow. Now tomorrow in the spirit world doesn't always mean tomorrow. It could mean within this week. I do feel like you two are going to have some form of communication this week. It could be something as uh, like a text. I do feel like she does need her time and space, and I feel like it's respectful to give it. I do feel like this will be reconciled. <laughs> Now, here is what I'm going to say, because I want the two of you to be able to move forward in a healthy, loving situation and not just like when we mm -hmm. have something like this happen, oftentimes we get back together and we're just so happy we're back together that we don't say, hey, listen, let's communicate about this. First and foremost, as I say to everybody, never use the word I and you when reconciling or talking about things. Always use the term we. We have some difficulty in communicating. Not you, not me, we. Because it's a partnership. And in order for it to be a successful partnership, 
both people have to acknowledge um, that that communication didn't go well. So we, the second thing is um, ask her and you do the same thing to please write out how things can be better for both of you. And here's my favorite question. What do you need to make this work and for you to be happy? And then decide, can, can I show up as this person? Can I show up in this way? I don't think that just getting mm-hmm. back together is going to be the best solution here. It's going to be nice and it's going to be good. Um, and it will be g- good for a minute. But if you want something more long term and the both of you do, there's there's a lot of love here. If you want something a little bit more long term, what you might want to do is talk about moving forward, what each of you wants. And even one step further, for, further is how do you how do you see us, uh, you know, in in like five, five, whatever I they're giving me like three different things to say in this moment. Um, and I'm trying to separate all the things they're trying to say right now. Um, what does that? That's it. Thank you. What does a healthy relationship look like to you? What does a healthy relationship look like to you? And what does mm-hmm. that mean? And when you do that, it's really taking those really important steps to be healthy, not only when she comes back, but for all of the future. Mm-hmm. And I think, uh, but I do feel like there's going to be some communication this week. I do feel like the two of you should take the time and really figure out what's the most important things for each other and what healthy relationships look like. And that way the two of you will have a much um, more solid relationship moving forward. I feel like one of you feels like you're not heard. One of you feels like the other one overpowers the conversations. And that's usually done out of fear of not being heard Mm -hmm. or being afraid of what the other person is going to say. So I recommend if it comes to that point, just use a notebook and pass the notebook back and forth because that way each person gets to complete their sentence and their statement. And when you're reading things, you're not coming up with your defense, you're understanding it. And then you can communicate your answer in writing. And when we write something out rather than let it fly out of our mouth, we have a tendency to be gentler with what comes out and our, we get past the ego okay. and more into spirit. So that would be my recommendation moving forward. Again, I do feel like it's going to be this week, but I do feel like, and, and that writing cannot be texting. Pen to paper, folks. I want to thank everybody so much for listening in, calling in, joining in, watching, re-watching. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. It means more than you could ever imagine. I want you to know I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And I will be back on Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday at noon, taking more callers, communicating with people online. Genevieve, I'm sorry we didn't get to connect today. Um, get, call in on Wednesday. Hopefully it will be a better connection. And Genevieve, I love you so stinking much. You're so amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, that's. I think that's everything. If you like the show, please subscribe. Please like. Um, whether you're listening or watching on a venue, and then you'll know whenever I'm here. So you can call in, join in, or just apparently laugh with me. Thank you again, everybody. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.